Are there any other ladies of the net out there yet? Hello, Papa Four, Mike Delta. This is uh, Carol, Killer Pop for Mike Delta, and a very good uh, morning to all ladies here on tonight, I mean this morning. Um, I'm uh, going to be spending half days here in um, in the morning uh, at home, uh, back to my work here for the next couple of weeks uh, while I'm attending uh, my husband, Roger, uh, who has uh, suffered a stroke last week. He's feeling much better, but needs uh, uh, a little bit more assistance. We have an appointment with his primary care physician tomorrow uh, to uh, uh, just see how he's progressing and a number of other appointments with physical therapy, optional therapy, and neurology over uh, the next week or two. So uh, taking advantage of this time that I have here to uh, uh, Back to the net since I'm usually never here uh, in the mornings. And uh, the medicines here are pretty bad. Uh, listening through the uh, remote receiver, and, uh, I just have a very high noise level here at home. 
I'll turn this back now to net control. Thank you, Michelle. AS6U, this is Kilo Papa for Mike Delta. Carol uh, was happy to hear that you're on the air, but sad for the reason. Uh, I hope your puppy gets better even more quickly than has been uh, so far, which has been actually quite miraculous. It is really distracting to be hearing the echoes. We had to turn down the computer. Uh, it's <laughs> really funny today because I am uh, going very late because I'm very tired. Okay, so uh, are there any other ladies of the net out there yet? Hello, India 6, Yankee, Yankee, Tango. Amelia, how are you? I'm doing fine. I have a little trouble getting the radio set up and took me out California. And uh, then from there we're going to London, so maybe you can, uh, maybe that'll help us out about how we're going to operate radio over there. I wanted to do something over there if we're actually going to my son's wedding. So that sounds really exciting and it sounds very interesting, so I'm glad you're doing that. Did you do it last year, Kipson? Uh, no, I didn't do this last year at Pacificon, but uh, I did uh, present this at the YLRL convention. It was well received there. That was in Oklahoma City. Over. Oh, yeah, that's another place I want to go. Actually, family there. We weren't able to make that. So, oh, that's great. That sounds wonderful, and I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing you there, and uh, also uh, we need to get uh, uh, organized here for the YL Forum. Uh, uh, I'm sure there's some good uh, materials from uh, what the ladies of the net have done over the past year that uh, everyone in attendance would be interested in. So we do like those uh, uh, slideshows and video presentations. Over. Uh, yes, I saw part of that last year, not all of it, because I was busy uh, giving the guy a test, uh, the last guy in uh, the uh, DE session. But Amelia did that, I believe, and it was uh, fantastic. And somebody else also did that. Amelia, who else did that? I don't remember. I believe, I believe it was Deborah. Okay, but uh, you did visit Amelia, right? The Forum last year at Pacificon? Yes. Yeah, I, I forget what I did. I think maybe I had a few slides on the Hornet. Yeah, I think that's what it was. You had a slideshow on, on something, and it was good. I remember that. I just don't remember the specifics. <laughs> maybe it was the Queen Mary. Okay, I think that makes sense. I didn't go on that, so it was interesting to me because I didn't get to go. Okay, um, would anybody like to share anything else? Or is there, actually, first, is there anybody out there that would like to check in? 56, November Yankee Alpha Bravo. Yeah, there was a November 6th Yankee Oscar Portable uh, trying to check in. Whiskey 6, November Yankee Alpha Portable. Yeah, it's Whiskey November Yankee Alpha Portable, and you can hear them through the uh, uh, remotes uh, over there in Half Moon Bay. Uh, 
That's uh, the number, sorry, Whiskey Six of Army Yankee Alpha, and he said 73 to everyone. Uh, this is the ladies of the net, and I think he was just checking out uh, what net this was, over. Okay, uh, I think you pass it over to me, the six if you're up and down, a lot of QSB, uh, Michelle. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, letting me join you in the next uh, this morning. And uh, see, tomorrow uh, won't be able to do that, uh, yeah, because uh, we have an appointment uh, at this time. So uh, I won't be back on the net until Monday. So, because I know you don't do Friday nets here, so I want to wish everyone a very good evening. And uh, um, again, it's great to be back on the air here. Uh, A6MW, this is Kilo Papa for Mike Delta. They said that you were actually here in Indonesia because you were mobile. Yeah, we were mobile for the VHF contest. So we worked five different, no, four different places. And uh, I think Jim worked people, more people than that. I was the logger. I don't, I, I don't like him driving and trying to do all that at one time. So we were stationary a little bit.
question for Carol. Okay, yeah, uh, go right ahead, KP from to here. Kilo India 6, Yankee Yankee Tango. And I was wondering, when you were at the YLRL convention in uh, Oklahoma City, did they set a, a date for their next convention? Uh, negative. I don't. Um, I don't recall there are any uh, date being set. Uh, that's probably going to be uh, three years in the future, and I don't think we <laughs> we don't do that much advanced planning. Over. I was wondering because we got very close to going, but the weather in Oklahoma scared us off at the last minute. We were just uh, thought Oklahoma in the summer would be pretty hot. So uh, I was wondering where the new next location would be. I'm sorry, I I don't have any information. I don't believe that's decided. Yeah, it was kind of hot during the daytime, but we spent most of the convention uh, during the day hours. We were inside air conditioning, and uh, it was quite pleasant uh, uh, in the early evening hours and also in the morning. So um, there was no rain and. No tornadoes or anything. It was really beautiful. Part of me is sorry to hear that because I missed it. Well, I don't know. Uh, did, did you see the um, some of the videos that I posted? Uh, I don't think you're on Facebook, but uh, I can go ahead and send you uh, an email there with uh, some of the videos we took outside the hotel. Uh, we saw a uh, K2EZ's uh, rover, uh, the, the VHF rover uh, car. Over. I'd like that. If you could do that, I'd appreciate it. Okay, yeah, I'll see if I also put a link on the Ladies of the Net uh, Facebook page. That way others, uh, Net members can see it. Over. Well, I'd like to see what I missed. Over. Rogers. This is KP4MD, uh, and we're standing by. This is AE6MW for CAM6CIR, ladies of the net. Are there any other ladies that would like to check in? None heard. Uh, would you ladies like to add anything else? Sarah, would you like to add anything else? Anything else? No, I'm fine. I'll say my 73s and I'll try to be back tomorrow. Okay, good deal. 73s, everyone, except I'm going to go through the post sample now. You've been listening to Camp 6 CIR, the ladies of the net, an internal net dedicated for women with the current appropriate amateur license. I'm Al Bal for 6 Mike Whiskey, Michelle, in Venice, California, for ID. Our group meets here at 10 a.m. Uh, every Monday through Thursday morning to discuss top centers to just have a friendly visit. Please visit our QR web website, KF6CIR. There isn't a fee for anyone wishing to become a member. We plan and do fun activities together and hope to hear from you soon. We thank all those who participated and assisted with relays. And actually, I thank you for putting up with me today because I have been stumbling over my words today. And also, I've been having some computer little difficulties. Uh, please let your lady friends know they're all closely invited. Again, I'm AA6MW, Michelle, in Venice, California. It is now closed. The frequency is now open for normal amateur radio use. 73 is all, and have a great day.